Hello, this is Dr. Christy Patton Lokes, a chemical engineering professor at Missouri S&T. In this video lesson, we're going to be looking at doing a sample calculation for a fugacity in a vapor phase. Our goal here is that you simply will have experience calculating fugacity for vapors using data. Let's look at propane. I have data tables for propane. At 0 degrees C and 2 bar, if I look for 0 degrees C, these are all the pressures that data was available and these are the specific volumes. Our definition of fugacity says that fugacity is the pressure times the exponential of 1 over RT, integral from 0 up to the pressure we're interested in, of V minus RT over P dP. So what we need is V minus RT over P, we'll integrate that numerically and then substitute into this formula. So RT over P. T is a fixed value of 273.15, but P is going to change. If we do just a sample calculation here, the R value I used is 0 0.08314 bar cubic meter per kilomole K. And the temperature is going to be fixed at 273.15 Kelvin. I need to get it into cubic meters per kilogram to match my table. And so I need the molecular weight, which is 44.9 kilograms per kilomole. And so at the pressure of 2 bar, RT over P is 0 0.2575. If you then use this with these values of V from the table, I get V minus RT over P, and I did that, those calculations. But notice I stopped at 2 bar, because I really don't need the ones for higher pressures, because the integration only goes up to the pressure I'm trying to calculate. In order to do this numerical integration, I ended up using the trapezoid rule, so I used average values, and then the delta P, the thickness, the width of each of my sections, so this becomes my average height, these become my width of my trapezoids, multiply these together, add them up, gets the integral, take that answer, divide by, R over t, divide by RT, take the exponential of that answer, and multiply that by P. And when you do this, you find that the area under the curve was about negative 0.02, and we end up with F as 1.9. I also did this using corresponding states. So for this, I'm going to need critical data. So TC is 96.7, well below our temperature, and the critical pressure is 42.6, far way over our pressure. So if we look at this, I'm going to need to calculate the reduced temperature and pressure. So in this case, I get a reduced temperature of 0 0.74 and a reduced pressure of about 0 0.5. I used data tables for corresponding state numbers and interpolated to get that phi naught is 0 0.9621, phi 1 is 0 0.9669. Now, this is a little more complicated than other corresponding states because really the definition says that the log of phi equals the log of phi naught plus omega log of phi 1. So if I wish to calculate f, what I need to do is take phi naught and phi 1 to the omega power, multiply those answers times p, and that will get me f. This just all comes from the laws of logarithms and the definitions of fugacity coefficients. So in this particular case, I get 2 bar times 0 0.9621 times my phi 1, 0 0.9669 to the 0 0.152 power. And my answer is 1.914 bar, somewhat less than what we got using the data tables. If you try using this graph presented in the book, you'll notice that your pressure is actually down off the left side of this. And as you follow 0.75 and come across here, it's going to be something a little less than 0. Point or a little less than 1 and more than 0.95, so I guess it's probably about 0.97. Multiply that by 2 bar, and you'll get an answer that's in line with these other answers. 
So the fugacity, I would determine from propane, is going to be a little bit more than 1.9 bar, but definitely less than 2 bar. If you need to use an equation of state, such as Ping-Robinson or Van der Waals, any of those others, you can simply use the formulas to calculate and estimate V, or use the forms of the equations that have Z in them. The calculations will be more involved, but the techniques will be fairly straightforward. So thank you for your attention, and our next lesson will be looking at a similar example for liquids.